see like the biggest nose and it had there's two little dimples in the snow above it uh yeah yeah so the one to the looker's right the dimple to the right to the longest nose yeah that's the best nose to come off of okay pretty lucky to get this good at conditions right yeah now. this is unreal like yeah. down there like those mountain ranges and stuff it's insane. oh there you go sender oh yeah whoa <laughs> well that was a good slope test yeah buddy you got it <laughs> you're gonna have fun yeah just let me know when you're ready i'll count you in all right five seconds for noah three two one dropping yeah buddy we had a bluebird day in Revelstoke. Started working into the terrain and everything was feeling really good. There was a ton of people out there. There was a lot of people skiing some pretty bold lines and, and not a lot going on. And yeah, and to be honest, I was just feeling quite confident in the whole snowpack in general. Ooh. Oh, tomahawk, avalanche, 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 avalanche. Oh, No, he was he was under there. Did we go? Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, I just hear this wall of like, and I just get hit, and I'm like, oh no, I'm like, please just be the slough from my line, and uh, it wasn't. It was definitely more. I just remember being under with snow getting shoved down my throat. I was like, okay, I just, I need to swim or I need to just try and stay up. Swimming, I didn't know where I was. I was just, stay above, stay above. I've done a lot of crazy things in my life, but that was the first time that I actually felt like I could really die. And so I immediately got on the radio to the film crew and was like, eyes on, eyes on. And I mean, the next, you know, uh, we know now because it was only 90 seconds, but it was like so many different thoughts going through your head, but kind of just going through exactly what we practice so much, but not really even thinking about it. It was just like automatic. I was like, didn't even really realize I'd pulled the radio out, said that. Eyes on, eyes on. And then the next thing was like, how do I get down this slope? Uh, Cause there was a ton of hang fire and we were in kind of a, a technical area. And luckily I knew the zone really well and was able to go out left. came around, stopped on a wind lip, and that's when I pulled out my beacon. Still couldn't see him, saw a couple things in the snow, uh, but switched my beacon to search and started my initial kind of grid search down the avalanche path. Two or three switchback turns in, I was moving pretty fast. I was looking at my beacon, like waiting for that signal and then looked up and I saw something move and just immediately beelined it to him. You all right? Hey guys, I got, he's okay. He's got an airway. We're okay. I'm gonna dig him out. Uh, let's just have nobody ski above us. That was a fucking scary thing. Oh my god. You're all right, buddy. You're all right. I started feeling myself coming to a stop, and I was like, okay, I, I like really, really hope I'm not deep under. Couldn't really see. Um, I was able to move my head, and my arm was kind of here, I was able to go like this, kind of move snow across my face and, and push my head out just so I could see the sky. And I saw the sky and I was like, I could have cried. I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna die. 
the thing that I think that worked really well in our favor, um, and I've heard Jeremy Jones talk about this, of like how he picks lines, is he really tended to not pick lines that had exposure or they all had clean runouts. And it was a super clean runout. So there was no trees to get swiped into. There was no cliffs he was going over. There was no rocks to go into. Because that's when an avalanche like that turns really serious. It wasn't, it was, it was a big avalanche, but it wasn't a huge avalanche. But if it pushes you into something, that can be enough to really injure you or 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 kill you. So having that nice smooth run out really worked in our favor. You just never expect it to really happen. It's real out there and it can happen at any point. So being prepared and having the right people with you is is key for sure.